Hey guys, it's John Tan from Total Warhammer. We're going to with our daily Warhammer 2 quick battle. Looks like we're fighting Deep Elite Cowgirl here. Alright, so who do we want to play today? Empire's always fun, even though they're kind of weak right now. Skaven. Mm. We just beat up some Skaven yesterday. I always love the Wood Elves, but we do do the Wood Elves a lot. Maybe we do some Bretonia? We'll just, we'll just see Wait, how he responds. Ooh, I have been on Turn's channel, and hopefully I'll be on his uh, channel soon. Alright, so vampire accounts. Interesting. Let's see if we can do it. So for our lord, let's go ahead and grab the Fate Enchantress, I think. So what people like to do nowadays is, uh, you know, the triple triple terror guys thing. So let's see what we can do. So this whole army's got Fear and Terror. We'll bring some Battle Pilgrims to take care of skeletons and low tier units. We'll bring some uh, foot squires to take care of any armored units. We'll grab a unit of peasant bone with fire arrows. We're gonna grab three grail knights. Do we want three? Do we want three? Hmm. 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 Let's go ahead and cut two of these guys. Get a wider front line with some uh, spearmen at arms or shields. Just because they have a pretty high melee defense for their cost. Only 350. We do have one archer. We got three Grail Knights. I mean, Grail Guardian is always a good choice. But uh, now that Terror Geists are so prevalent, maybe we just want to focus our cavalry on uh, things with anti large. Because Terror Geists themselves do indeed have anti large. Alright, so let's go ahead and grab. Let's go ahead and grab a second Pest Bowman with Fire Arrows. And we'll also follow up with another battle program. Yeah, let's grab another battle program. Alright, some chevrons into these guys, bringing their melee defense up to 42. Pretty good. These guys are on, will be on 40, it's fine. And uh, let's do it, Deep Elite Cowgirl. Ready? Good luck, have fun, comrade. Let's do it. So we got some anti skeleton, we got some anti army armor, got a little bit anti-large with some high melee defense that can hopefully hold off against low tier troops. Got a couple fire arrows to shoot, help shoot down a terror geist, and we have some grail knights to uh, protect those archers. So we're going to try to use them defensively. Expecting terror geist, I mean I always bring them, I find that they're the most effective thing. Which is kind of unfortunate. I, maybe it's just me, maybe I just need to branch out more. I find something that works and then I just kind of keep on using it, I'm just kind of boring. But uh, Bretonia right now, as uh, the Gabo King has schooled me in, needs to uh, needs to use their their Grail uh, Grail Knights. I played a game against the Gabo King yesterday. I should have should have saved it. I didn't because I just went straight into another quick match. But I'm regretting that now. In any case, he beat me pretty bad. It was a good game. It's a good game. I was Chaos. He was Bretonia. He had a uh, Three girl knights and a questing knight, and I he was just able to run circles around my dragon ogres. Every time I tried to get them into combat, he just ran away. So really good tactics on his part. Honestly, kind of made me mad. I was like, Stay and fight me, you coward! But uh, he did the right thing. He did the right thing. Double King is very good. He's been playing a lot. I haven't. But like I said, hopefully I'll uh, get back into the groove when. Uh, the Tomb Kings DLC comes out. So I haven't been playing too much lately because I really don't like the state of the games. As far as balance goes. But uh, I have a feeling we'll be moving in a good direction very soon. Alright, so Graveguard, Skeleton Spearmen, Hex Race, Crypt Horrors. Interesting, no terror guys. I like it. I like it. So we're going to have our uh, flame arrows be shooting at these terror guys. We're going to keep our grail knights in reserve at the, uh, sorry, at the crypt wars. In reserve and use them to take down these fell bats that decide they want to come in. So let's have you guys go into them. You guys can go into them. You guys can go into them. You guys can go around the flank here. 
you guys can go into them, and you guys can go into them. So hopefully we can get these guys off the field real fast here. And let's get you into them, and you into them. Let's get you down here. And let's get you into... Let's get you into these guys. You guys can come get a charge right here. Actually, come charge into these guys. And you guys can come in right here. So, that's some bats down right there. Let's try to get these crypt horrors off the field. And let's try to charge you in right there. Alright, so where do we want to use our... Let's get you guys out of here. Let's get you guys to charge right there. And let's get you guys out of there. Let's have you guys in a group and start shooting at these guys right here. Let's move you out. Let's move you out. If we want any regrowth anywhere, let's go ahead and drop this here. And let's grab a favor of the Fey on you and get you around the corner here. Let's get you right through the center and let's get you to go hit these guys. Do we do magical damage? Oh, we should be able to take out those canneries then. So let's get you guys back into these guys. Let's get you into them. And you into them. Man, I really wanted to take out those, uh... Alright, let's see where we can use our regrowth. Let's go ahead and use it on you. And you should be able to work pretty good on those guys. Let's get you guys out of here. You guys are coming in for the rear charge here on these graveyard. That's pretty good. Those spearmen have not responded yet, so let's get out of there. I gotta say, these crypt are lasting a lot longer against, uh... Against these ranged units than I thought they would. So, we almost got his, uh... That down. Let's go ahead and do another charge on these guys. Let's have you guys go hit these cryptors. You guys can run around this way. You guys can run into those spearmen. And come on, take those cryptors down. And we'll leave these guys in here so that they can work on these cannon rays. Let's we'll start shooting at these guys. And where do we want to use our favorite of the Fey? We'll use it on these guys. Let's bring you down through here. And who we got here? Vladimir Karstein. We are going to be able to take out his uh, Claude Nagash here. Let's get you guys moving. You can do a rear charge into these guys. And you guys can just pull out now. Those ter those can race are gone. Let's get you guys moving back a little bit. Let's get you guys moving back a little bit. I was hoping they were able to take out those can race, but they unfortunately were not. Let's go do a charge into these guys now. Let's have my fire arrows are going to be shooting at the uh, these guys right here because they, they do regenerate and therefore they do have a... What's it called? A weakness to fire. So let's get the lady over here. He wasn't facing us there, so we just got a good charge in. Let's pull out now. Come on, get out of there. Get out of there. Let's get you over here, and where is our our worst off unit of Grail Knight? So let's get a regrowth on you guys. Keep you moving. And let's get you guys moving into the end. Alright, you guys can come do a rear charge on them as well. Let's get you guys into the Skeleton Spearmen. Looks like we're doing pretty okay on that flank. Let's get you guys moving down here. You guys keep on moving. You guys shoot at them, and you guys come get a charge into those guys. You can get a charge into them. And I don't know what these guys are doing, but they're way over here. Let's get you guys back into combat. Let's get you guys back into combat. Let's keep our guys moving here. And let's go get a charge into them. You guys can get a charge into them. You guys need to keep on moving. Don't want to stay engaged with those spearmen. Let's get you on these spearmen. Let's get you on these guys. Let's move you guys back. And it looks like we're doing okay here. Let's get you guys to go for a charge right there. You guys need to get into combat over here. Leave uh, leave old Vladdy Daddy alone. We'll save him for last. Get a pretty good rear charge right there. And we're just going to pull you all straight back. Come, come and hit these uh, guys over here. You guys intercept them. You guys intercept them. You guys can start shooting at them. You guys come hit the... Diem. Diem. Who must say? And... Uh, I'm going to cast the door. Let's go ahead and get both of you knights out of here. And I want to get one of them around onto these can race. We'll bring you guys around this way. So you guys can get on those spears. Where's our fey? Let's get you around here. Let's go ahead and drop... Ooh, I, I don't know. It's not really a good place for this. Let's get you guys over here. You guys over here. And you guys over here. You guys can come in here and get after these can race. You guys can go hit that battle there. And we got our fire arrows. Let's uh, pull these guys back a little bit more. He just keeps on pulling his spears away from me, which is which is uh, getting a lot of damage on. So let's have you guys just hold up those spears. You guys can drop a 
common Casador right there. Let's drop a regrowth on some of our rail knights. Let's go ahead and drop them on these guys. So we're getting a charge into these can rays. We do do magic damage as noted, so it should be pretty good. And yeah, we're doing some pretty good damage here. Let's get y'all guys in for a charge. You guys can also come in for a charge. So we got charges going on on every every flank here. Let's get our archers over here so we can shoot at these uh, sternsmen over here. I definitely want to be shooting at them. Let's get you guys back in for a charge. Let's pull you guys back out. You guys can come over here. You guys that can actually go after Vlad. You guys, pretty good charge right there. Let's pull you guys out. Let's pull you guys out. And I think we're doing okay over here. So let's pull you guys down and around over here. Let's keep our archers moving. Let's get you guys on Vladdy Daddy there. Come hit these guys in the back. Let's just uh, let's just try to break these, break these spearmen right here. So these guys don't want to obey my orders. Let's get around for a charge though. So yeah, we're doing a ton of damage to the spearmen. Don't want to stay in too long though. So let's pull out. I think we're having a pretty good match here. You guys can come after these can race. You guys need to be shooting at these sternsmen over here. They are definitely a threat. You guys can come shoot at them. You guys can. Sorry, not shoot at them, but uh, going to melee at them. You guys can come this way. I need y'all to come take out Bloody Daddy. As you see, we're doing tons of magic damage on this can race, and I think we are going to break any moment now. Let's see, you got the Fate Enchantress over here, and I think we're doing pretty good here. I think we're doing pretty good. Looks like it might be a victory. We've got some Grave Guard over here. Let's go ahead and do a charge on them. Let's get you guys down here, do a charge on Bloody Daddy. And uh, yeah, we're doing we're doing okay. I think we got it. Uh, I think we got it. Let's pop a regrowth on these rail knights here. And uh, these guys are shield and armored, but we're shooting in the back, so their shields are not going to count. And uh, they are taking that extra fire damage. So that's pretty good. It looks like his army is going to break here. All we got left here is Vladdy Daddy, and he does indeed crumble to army losses. So GG. Deep Elite Cowgirl. Very GG. That was a good game. That was a good game. A lot of my girl. Uh, I feel like I could have used my cavalry better and got them less uh, less speed up, but uh, I'm happy with it overall. Let's go ahead and give a fair of the fate to one of these guys. And uh, let's, let's get that bloody daddy down. Man, <laughs> Vlad has so much health. It's taking him so long to crumble. Alright, so let's look at that in battle breakdown. So, Fae Enchantress did a really good job with those regrowths. Look at my grail knights. Okay, some of them were zombies, and some of them were also skeleton spearmen. And to be honest, skeleton spearmen did do some pretty good damage to my grail knights. But uh, yeah, those just bringing regrowth. I learned that from Gakpo from that match the other day. Uh, very good. I liked my peasant bow and the fire arrows. I'm really glad I brought them. They were able to do a lot of damage to the crypt horrors, which have regeneration and therefore weakness to fire. And same thing with the Claw and the Gash. They took the Claw and the Gash out really fast. Much faster than I expected. They did some good damage to the Sternsman, who got 107 kills in their own right. So really good for them. And uh, the Grail Knights were a really good choice against his large of Crypt Horrors and his magic of Canaris. So I like it. So for his army, Vladimir Karstein is always a decent pick if you want a really tanky Lord. Free Spearman, pretty good. Uh, Graveguard. Now you don't really need Graveguard. So Foot Squires only has 70 armies. So I don't think you really need the armor piercing Graveguard. Just because uh, these guys already have a... What's it called? They have silver shields. They have good armor themselves. And they have an anti-infantry bonus. And their anti-infantry bonus does cost count as armor piercing damage. Now obviously it's not going to be as much as the... What's it called? Graveguard with great weapons. But for his armor piercing, he bought Cairn Race, which I would not have brought because Bretonia does have magic damage in the way of its Grail Knights and Grail Guardians, which you can't expect to see in this matchup. So, Bretonia has quite a bit of magic damage, as well as the Fae Enchantress, and yeah. I, I wouldn't have brought these guys. Uh, Phil Bats are good. Crypt Horrors are... Crypt Horrors are good. I mean, if he hadn't brought two Cairn Race, what would I suggest Blood Knights. I think you need some Blood Knights. I think that would have really, really helped. But, uh, yeah. Good game to Deep Elite Cowgirl. And that's going to be all for this one, guys. This is John Ton for Total Brohammer. Signing out.